Prayer for the 2022 National and Local Elections Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we continue to celebrate with great joy the resurrection of Jesus, his triumph over sin and death. And so let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist. Let us open our hearts to the new and glorious life that Jesus offers us. Let us ask the Father's forgiveness and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, you. we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, King O God, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, 
Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. And those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Walt Whitman is known to have said, Keep your face towards the sunshine and the shadows will be behind you. Humarap ka sa araw at ang anino mo ay mapupunta sa iyong likuran. At tama nga naman, dahil kapag nakatalikod tayo sa araw, Nakatalikod tayo sa liwanag, ang anino natin ang nagunguna sa atin. At parang mas malaki pa sa atin ang ating anino. Pero kapag humarap ka sa liwanag, humarap ka sa araw, walang anino sa iyong harapan. Ang kadiliman na pupunta sa iyong likuran. And this is the experience of Mary Magdalene as we heard our gospel on this Tuesday within the octave of Easter. Mary was weeping as she looks at the empty and dark tomb of Jesus. She was filled with grief. But when she turned around, and saw Jesus, and when Jesus calls her Mary, her grief was turned into joy. Nung nakatalikod si Maria Magdalena kay Jesus, at nung ang kaharap ni Maria Magdalena ay yung madilim na libingang walang laman, nagdadalamhati ang kanyang puso. Pero nung hinarap niya si Jesus, nung hinarap niya ang liwanag, nung tawagin siya ni Jesus, Maria, nawala ang kadiliman, nawala ang lungkot, napalitan ng liwanag at kagalakan. This is also what we saw in our first reading today. 
Peter courageously spoke about Jesus. And according to our first reading today, those who have been listening to Jesus, the Jew, to, to Peter, the Jews who listened to Peter preach about Jesus were cut to the heart. Tinamaan sa kanilang narinig. And they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do after hearing about Jesus? And they told them, repent and be baptized. And according to our first reading, that day, 3,000 persons were baptized. 3,000 persons turned from darkness in order to face the light. Noong sila'y hindi pa nagpapabinyag para silang nakatalikod sa liwanag na bubuhay sa anino ng dilim. Pero nung humarap sila sa liwanag, nagpabinyag sa pananampalataya kay Jesus na wala ang dilim na palitan ng liwanag ng bagong buhay. Keep your face towards the sunshine and the shadows will be behind you. My dear brothers and sisters, many times we are like Mary Magdalene. We look at the empty and dark tombs of our lives. Nakatuon lang tayo doon sa madidilim na bahagi. Nakatuon lang tayo sa problema. Nakatuon lang tayo sa mabibigat na pasanin. Nakatuon tayo sa hindi magagandang pangyayari. Nakatuon tayo sa kadiliman ng ating buhay. And that is why we lose hope. We live in despair. We are hopeless. We live in darkness. And darkness seems to be insurmountable simply because we are not facing the light. Kung nakatingin ka sa kadiliman, hindi ka nakaharap sa liwanag, talagang mas lalaki ang kadiliman, ang anino, kaysa sa iyo. Tumalikod ka, iwan mo ang dilim, humarap ka sa liwanag, at lahat ng kadiliman ng problema, sakit, pabigat sa buhay, pagsubok, lahat yan mapupunta sa iyong likuran. Dahil nakatingin ka sa liwanag. And that is the invitation of Jesus to all of us today. As we celebrate this Easter season, let us keep our face towards the sunshine. Let us keep our face towards the light. Let us keep our faith towards Jesus. Dahil sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay, ipinakita sa atin ni Jesus na may liwanag sa dilim. At kung anuman ang dilim sa iyong buhay, humarap ka kay Jesus, makikita mo may liwanag din sa iyong kadiliman. My dear brothers and sisters, at what direction are you looking? Saan ka ba nakatingin? Baka ang tingin mo lang palaging nasa kadiliman, kaya puno ka rin ng kadiliman. Harapin mo ang liwanag ni Jesus. Piliin mo ang liwanag ng kanyang muling pagkabuhay at lahat ng kadiliman mo maglalaho. Let us keep our face towards the light of the risen one and there will be no more darkness. We will only live in the light of Jesus' resurrection.
ریستن Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. Father of the risen Lord, cast out our fears. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father of the, of the risen, risen Lord, Lord cast, cast out our fears. fears. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father of, of the, the risen, risen Lord, cast, cast out our fears. That all of us gathered here may remain faithful to our baptismal promises. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father of, of the, the risen, risen Lord, Lord cast, cast out our fears. That the sick may be freed from their bodily and spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father of, the of the risen Lord, cast, cast out our fears. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of the of risen, risen Lord, Lord cast, cast out our fears. That the faithful departed may share in Christ's glorious resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of the, the risen, risen Lord, Lord cast, cast out our fears. fears. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. O God, through the death and of your Son, you gave us the hope of eternal life. Grant that through the, his resurrection, we may obtain the life we long for. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, 
and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our, our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, deception, lies, and all evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, our risen Lord. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessings now and forever. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.